All right, so we're going to open up this uh, Uniden BCA. We're going to modify it to disable the uh, auto off feature. You need to get a one eighth or a quarter watt resistor at approximately 10K. There's 9.85, close enough. I am going to do this in sections. So uh, let me open this up and take out the uh, PC board and I don't kill a bunch of time. All right, so there were just four screws there. That was easy enough. Let me take this out just so it's not in the way. Just in case I need to flip this bracket over. This is a very loud speaker. It turned out very good when I went out to the uh, desert the other day. As right, simple as that. Now it looks like we're going to have one, two, three, three screws here. Let me take these out. It comes out relatively easy, just at an angle. And the uh, black wires here are pinned between one of the attachment points, and that allows you to turn this over and access PC B side. So what we're trying to do, let's see how close I can get, but I'm trying to get to that contact right there. I just put a little black dot on it, right there and right here. So we're going to do this like that. And of course, you got to shield this. You don't want it shorting out. Let me prep this. I'm just going to put a little heat shrink around them. You don't have to warm it up if you don't want to. It's just to uh, protect the contact. And I guess about a half inch or so. It doesn't have to be exact. And you're going to cut the resistor lead just a little bit longer than the heat shrink so you can have a little space to uh, prep and tin the solder or the lead with solder when you do that then this is going to heat up and shrink and grab let me get that ready and I don't have my pointed tip can't find it but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make this work it's not gonna be much solder that it's gonna need Very little. Just enough to heat it up. So when you apply it to the circuit, it'll stick right away. That's enough. I clean the tip off when I get it next to the circuit. So it uh, Don't solder anything else. Let me get real close here. Doesn't take much heat. That's it. That's why you have to tend the tip. You don't want to 
hate it too much, but that's it. It's in. So our other marker is going to go right. Where are you? Right there. There's a black spot. So I can bend this around. And I can push down on it as I apply the heat just momentarily. It's not going to burn you. Don't be a pussy. Let me redo that. Right there. Right there. That's it. Double check that it's nice and tight. And I need to push this down so I can cover these contacts here or put something underneath. But it does not touch any other it up just a little bit. There we go. Just like that. All you need to do is clear this so you can move this like that. That's it. You just want to clear that. I'll push this down and hold this here like that. And we should be okay. doesn't work that means there's these two are connected these two contact points all right solder off and here I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do let me turn the solder back on let me raise this up and squeeze this over right there like that yep. and let me see how hot this is still hot just enough to close up heat shrink there it's closing both sides don't touch the heat shrink then you're going to burn it real quick just a little piece of very strong 3m double-sided tape I'm gonna stick this underneath I don't have to remove the backing And let me get it closer. Right there, right there. There you go. Squeeze under there. Just in case. Non conductive, so no problem. I can push down, lay it there, lay that there, and we're done. I'm going to close this back up and I'll turn it back on. And before you close it, just make sure this wheel spins freely. Button in and out. And this is nice and tight. And then just this is down, and the noise of pressure is up. All right, just drop them in. There's only one place for them to fall. Tightening this back up. 
a nice feature to have when you're mounting it somewhere, these brackets. Okay. This is all the wire that it came with, and I added some. Stepped on that by accident. But it still works. adapter I can't my SIG adapter so we're going to do this all right negative positive behind the radio just in case and this one and if you guys don't know one of these is useless if you ever connect to something that doesn't work just put the negative on this side one of them is strictly for support all right so we're going to do that connect our our 3.5 top of the radio okay uh, this is going to power the speaker okay we're going to do uh, 13 volts see if this thing doesn't catch fire turn on radio And turn on speaker. That should stay on. Uh, let me reset my radio. Got to reset frequencies. All right, there it goes. The volume on the unit in is at 13. I don't know what I could pick up inside here. I guess it would help if I raise the antenna. Before the modification, that would go off. And would only turn on. 212 check I'll end up editing uh, this audio just so it could. Charles, for the three, you can hold it for one of us to clear out. There it is. That's No more cutoff. Works good. That would have turned off already. Let me turn off this slide so you can see the LED. That LED would have turned off already. So now you got, you're not going to have any breaks in the uh, audio. I never pick up a whole lot here. I know that. People are having issues, though. 8413, clear. You show me on the traffic stop. That's clear, I am. 8413, clear. Let me give you a DL number in a second. You can have some call stuff off. I don't cut out of hard paper. That's clear. Man, that's loud. 8413, text the DL number 01581680. Last name, Jones, white female. So suffice that she's clear. I'm about at three quarters volume. And you have to have the volume on the scanner high. If the scanner on the volume on the scanner is low, the output on here is low. But you notice it's still on, constant on. 
So it works. No more uh, auto shut off and losing the first second or two of potentially valuable information. All right, easy modification. The resistors cost two bucks. And had to buy a pack of 10 or 12. I don't remember. Remember Radio Shack? Boy, do I miss them. All right, so that's it. Easy modification. No issues at all. Don't smell smoke. Any, everything's working. Drive. Medic 13 and engine 91. Breathing problems. 145 and Cedar will drive. Map 1, 2, 8, November. Fire map 5, 1, 8, 4, Alpha 2. Respond on FD3. The speaker is loud. See that? No change. That's good. Mark complete. I'm out, guys. Peace.